Okay, sorry for uh, disappearing for a couple of weeks. I got COVID and it sucked. Um, it's okay. Um, so this is a video I've been meaning to do for a while. This is for uh, Lilies by Bedbug. And for those of you who don't know, which probably the majority of you, I played drums for Bedbug and we just released a single. Um, and Lilies is um, Bedbug's most, most famous song. So this is a tutorial how to play Lilies on guitar. Um, and there's going to be two versions. There's going to be uh, Dylan's version, uh, Dylan the singer uh, slash guitarist, and that requires a capo. I don't own a capo. I don't know if people own a capo. Um, I also made a version for people who don't own a capo like me, um, <laughs> uh, which is just as equally easy, I would say. Um, so yeah, let's start with Dylan's version. Okay. It's capo three. Yeah. Okay, it's capo three, and then pointer finger is on the third, top of the third, and then pinky is on the fifth. So it's just a power chord with uh, two fingers. Um, and you pick. The finger picking pattern is like the the top four strings or bottom. I don't really know what to say. And then the next one is uh, you do like an E shape, but you do it where the G and the C are. So you do like finger here, finger here. So the top these two on the three, and then this pointer on the the second fret. And then it's just the top of G. So just a G. Easy. So my version, what do you want to do first is get your beautifully tuned guitar. And what you want to do is to get the A string, which is uh, the second to lowest string, and tune it up a half step. And the way to do this is on the lowest string, you press the sixth fret. And then you uh, tune the, the second to lowest note to that note. So now your second to lowest string, which is usually tuned on A, it's now tuned on B flat. Why, you ask? Well, the song uh, has a bass note that uh, it's always on B flat. So in order to move around and play without the fret, um, you just gotta tune this uh, string lower and kind of like the rest will be shown in a second. So the next step you wanna do is um, do this shape here. It's kind of like an A major chord um, but you slide up uh, one step um, for every note, and this is the first chord. Uh, so you're going to play uh, the second to lowest string, and it's actually a little, just a little bit different from Dylan's version, but if you play over the song, it'll work perfectly. So what you're going to do is um, play the second lowest string, um, then the G string which is this string here. And then this string here, the, um, the D string, I'm so sorry. And then you play the G string again. So it would sound like this. This is the first chord. Then what you're gonna do is um, this note here, your middle finger, um, Put it down here on the first fret. Um, I like to use first my middle finger and then my pointer uh, and then it sounds like this. Same pattern as before. And then your 
repeat the first chord again. And then you play that chord again. And then you let this note go, and it's just an open note here. And you just have the two strings, and now uh, the pattern is. So, uh, what I'm playing here is second to lowest. Uh, again, the pattern of um, one, three, two. Um, sorry, give me a second. So, um, one, three, two, four. And you play this note that we've been pressing all this time that we haven't played yet, which is on the B string. Um, and you repeat that pattern. And then you repeat from the start. So um, I played twice as much as I needed, so the whole thing kind of sounds like this. That's at least for you. Um, I hope this was useful. Um, don't forget to turn your guitar uh, back to standard tuning before playing other music, otherwise it'll just sound really funny. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. And I'll put a link to uh, our first single uh, for a new album in the comments, and I hope you like it. Bye-bye.